Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to actually explore this time dilation effect that's really super cool. It really almost gives a bullet time effect. We're gonna go into mannequins here. We're gonna go into animations. We're gonna go into Quinn. I'm gonna grab this MF walk and drag that onto the scene over there. Whoops, not quite on the scene, is it? I think I can hit end and drop her to the floor. That's all we have to do there. Well, one thing that's interesting about this animation, I, I shouldn't have clicked on it, I guess, is I'll go back into this animation right here. And it shows her walking in place, but it's a MF, male, female. I'm not sure what MF actually means there. If I double click on this in the scene, it just shows her walking in place, right? Which isn't really what we want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this animation and if we come down here to where it says force root lock, we'll just click that off and now she moves. So now if I hit play, you'll see she's actually covering distance. So it's a very short animation. Okay, so we got that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click here. I'll just go in the content level and I'm gonna right click and get a level sequence right here. We're gonna click into it. We're gonna go track, add the sequencer, add her. And she's gonna come in with the control rig and, which is gonna freeze everything up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. Then here on the animation, we're gonna add that MF walk that we modified and now if we hit play here in the sequencer you'll see her walking now here's the cool part is we're going to come to track and we're going to add time dilation here on the very first frame make sure you're on the first frame we're going to add a keyframe and set this to 0.5 we got to click on this value right here and go 0.5 and then we're gonna go, I'm gonna shorten this animation down to here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna try to get to the end of that. Then I'm gonna go to the end frame and then I'm gonna add a keyframe here on time dilation. But now we're gonna set it to zero. And we'll go back to the beginning and then check this out. How cool is this watch? Hit play. Isn't that cool? It's just a super cool effect. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.